In Unreal Engine, the game mode is another crucial component that dictates the rules of your game. You can create your custom game modes based on either game mode base or game mode, with the game mode being an extension to game mode base with additional functionality regarding multiplayer match-based games. When we look into a blueprint that inherits from game mode base, you can provide default options for many important components of your game in Unreal Engine like the default class for the player controller or the default pawn. In that scenario, basically setting up default classes with which each player will spawn into the game. But you can also define further components like the game state that manages information of your game that should be shared between all players or the HUD class which manages the UI overlay for a player. In the project settings under the project category and maps and modes, you can set your default game mode class. This game mode class will be selected if you don't have specified another game mode for a specific map. By opening the world settings of your map, you can override the game mode that should be used for this map in specific. So if you provide another game mode here, then it overrides the default game mode that you have provided in the project settings. So overall, the game mode allows you to define certain defaults for a lot of the central classes inside Unreal Engine. Further, you can override or extend functionality of the game mode to make it more suited to your needs, like the restart player function to handle the respawning of a player, or the get default pawn class for controller function if you maybe want to work with more than one default pawn class. If you have any questions regarding the game mode, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.